I'm absolutely delighted to say that we're announcing today that Royal Port Rush Golf Club is being, being invited back to join the list of Open Championship venues. The championship hasn't been played here since 1951, over 60 years ago. I'm just delighted to say that it's going to come back onto the road. The first thing, of course, is it's such a wonderful golf course. It's a true Lynx course. It's got all of the sand hills, the undulations, the dunes that you'd be looking for on a Lynx course. And uh, it's very well served here, actually, by roads. It, it, it's already a, a holiday destination, so there's, there's lots of accommodation and the infrastructure really is pretty good. And uh, we can't wait to get back. There are many things yet to be done to, to make the championship here a reality. There are some course changes, some infrastructure installation work to do. Those things have to have the permission of the members of the club here and also, of course, planning permission. We'll be working hard on those things in the months and weeks ahead. But uh, it's a little early to say. I think 2019 is the earliest the championship could be played here, but it might be a year later than that. And the Irish Open that was, that was held here uh, uh, recently had huge crowds, very, uh, I think a record for the European Tour. We enjoy great support at the Open Championship in England and in Scotland, but we think the Irish golf fans will turn out in big numbers for a major championship on their home soil, so we expect it to be pretty busy. I think it'll give golf a huge boost. They've already had wonderful success with the exploits of Rory McIlroy, Graham McDowell and, uh, and Darren Clark, but to actually have a major championship uh, on the home soil, as it were, is, is going to be a great fillip, I think, for the game, and a huge economic boost for the area too. We estimate, and it does depend on the exact date of the championship and so on, but we've got quite experience now at, at calculating economic impact of the Open, and we expect an economic benefit to the area in excess of £70 million. So it's a, it's a very significant event for, for Northern Ireland, and I think possibly the, the largest sports event ever to have been staged here.